I'm Jason and this is David and in September 2023 we set sail on a cruise around the western Mediterranean aboard the P&O cruise ship Arvia. Join us on our nautical adventures as we explore the ship, experience excursions and give you a taste of the cruise life. Deputy Captain speaking, and a very warm welcome to Barcelona. Arby is now secured alongside her berth. Before going ashore today, please be aware we've established a secure zone around the ship and our security procedures require that you must show your cruise card to enter the zone in addition to showing it to the security staff at the gangway when leaving or boarding the ship. Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia in Spain, is a vibrant and cosmopolitan city nestled along the northeastern Mediterranean coast. It's renowned for its unique blend of stunning architecture, from Antoni Gaudi's surreal Sagrada Familia to the historic Gothic Quarter's narrow streets. The city offers a rich cultural scene, world-class cuisine and beautiful beaches. Barcelona's energetic atmosphere, a fusion of tradition and modernity, makes it a top European destination for art, architecture and an alluring Mediterranean lifestyle. Having previously visited Barcelona and seen the lunatic architecture of the Sagrada Familia, we instead opted for a visit to the monastery at Montserrat. We found ourselves sat in seats in front of our neighbours who were on the same cruise ship and who'd also booked the same excursion. Uh, this building was the uh, Spanish pavilion eh, during the, this Expo 1939, in a few, in a few minutes. Eh? 20th century, this, the facade is the original facade, but the, the platform is new from our renovation for the years ago. But now this factory uh, is a more of shops, supermarkets, restaurants. And right now, uh, this uh, building is a museum, eh? the Catalan Art Museum. Eh? That, uh, well, it's, uh, it's uh, the most important museum in Barcelona. At the foot of the mountains we boarded a train and began our steep ascent. Just come. 
comes out. <laughs> Montserrat Monastery is a remarkable religious complex perched in the rugged Montserrat mountain range. This unique location adds to its mystique and natural beauty. The monastery is renowned for the revered statue of the Virgin of Montserrat. Pilgrims and tourists alike visit to pay homage to this religious icon. The architecture of the monastery is a blend of Renaissance and Neo-Gothic styles, adding to its historical significance. Besides the religious aspects, Montserrat offers breathtaking panoramic views and hiking opportunities in its scenic surroundings, making it a must-visit destination for both spiritual and nature enthusiasts. Although not religious, we witnessed a miracle as an elderly lady doubled over in a wheelchair was allowed to cut in line. We gasped as she climbed out of her chair unaided and up a steep flight of steps to devotedly pour at the glass encased virgin and child before descending down the other side. Evidently he works in mysterious ways. If you are a white supremacist or an American evangelical Christian you may want to look away now. The monastery is renowned for the revered statue of the Virgin of Montserrat 
also known as the Black Madonna, housed within. Pilgrims and tourists alike visit to pay homage to this religious icon. between midnight and 2 a.m. on Thursday, the morning of arrival into Cadiz. Weather-wise, overnight we are expecting very light winds and calm seas. Going into tomorrow, as the day progresses and we continue west, the winds will pick up a little from the east, up to 20 knots at times by tomorrow afternoon. These winds will be behind us, so with our passage speed of 17 knots, will generate almost zero relative wind over the decks. These stern winds will remain with us all the way through the straits before reducing prior to our arrival into Cadiz. The satellite images look good for the region, so fingers crossed for our good graces with the sun and that it continues with a beautiful cruising day at sea in the Med tomorrow. Well, that's all from me. It's great to have you back. Have a wonderful evening and enjoy a well and relaxing day at sea after three busy port day visits. I'll speak to you as usual tomorrow evening at 5.45 with some information on our Jeep Straits Transit together with details of our arrival into Cadiz. But in the meantime, how about I leave you with just a thought for today. There are three types of captains in this world. Those who can count and those who can't. Think about it. And on that note, let me wish you all a fantastic evening. If you enjoyed that video, then you want to check out this video next.